William Hague is with us on The Daily Politics. Welcome. Hot food from your conference speech. Yeah. In the speech, you said that a future Conservative government would, have a, would make it automatically legal that a new referendum would take place on every new treaty. Is that a, correct? A treaty that transfers competences from this country to the European Union, further transfers of power to of the European power Union. from of yeah. sovereignty and power. Yeah. But supposing it was just a, a small transfer, supposing it was a minuscule transfer, would you still have a referendum? Well, these treaties aren't usually minuscule no, transfers. No, I understand that. Uh, okay. So let's get that but clear. There They're was, usually massive transfers there of was. power. Well, I think having such a law would be a great disincentive to governments to uh, arrange for minuscule transfers of power that then add up over the years. Yes. We're always told it's only a little transfer of power. So they'd have you to always do it in find, chunks. You always find, 15 years later, that we've given away a lot of our power. So this would be done by changing the original law by which we joined the European Union in 1972. And you'd put us on the same basis as Ireland, really, that it has to have a referendum most of the time as well, doesn't it? In Ireland, it's written into the Constitution. constitution. We don't have a written Constitution, uh, okay. but we can put it into the law of this country so that it is the norm. And then you couldn't have a government wriggling out of its manifesto commitment, trying to, as the current government is trying to, clear manifesto commitment to hold a referendum. Gordon Brown now doesn't in intend to hold one at all. A flagrant breach of his commitment. Now, you made that clear in the referendum, but I understand that the Conservative position is that too much power has already been sent to Brussels. Right. So if that's the case, what powers, specifically what powers would a Conservative government repatriate back to London? The powers we particularly want back are over social and employment laws, uh, because we have seen many of those affecting the laws of this country, the employment laws uh, of this country. European countries trying to impose their social model, as it's called, called on uh, Britain. That is what we have to change. That, of course, may be quite a lengthy process. Well, you would be a lone because voice, because no other country would want to do that. We might start out as a lone voice, but actually there are many other countries, particularly in the east and centre of Europe, who increasingly share our perspectives, and we would have to be very clear and about demanding those things. When Margaret Thatcher Gordon Brown's now such a fan of Margaret Thatcher, went to Europe in 1984. They told her she'd never get an agreement to get our budget rebate, but she got it by clear insistence on a regular basis.